Had a customer walk in today asking for a loan on a specific watch. And I want to show you guys in this video a few things to look out for and also a few things that will help you either in determining whether an item is gold or what to look for in order to not make a mistake. Watch this. Let me know what you think. So here's the item I'm talking about. Now, this is a Baume and Mercier ladies vintage watch. Customer brought it in saying that it is gold. Now, obviously, we all want, we always want to go ahead and inspect the watch for what it is, especially when the customer says that it's gold. Now, when you look at this, there's absolutely no markings that I found on the clasp. Nothing whatsoever on both ends. Same on this side. And on the back side, there's a marking there, but it says 920, very faintly. It's very old, so it's probably been rubbed off over the years. Now, this is what we went ahead and did. When you're testing a watch like this, or I should say an item like this, you always wanna give it a few good scratches. So that's one scratch. I always try to get three scratches in, especially if it's a heavy piece like this, because if it is plated, you really wanna get to the underside. Now, because it has no stamp, I'll go ahead and put on the 14 karat stamp. And as you can tell, 14 karat stamp holds without any issues. However, when you put the 18 karat go, uh, acid on there, see how it kind of rubbed off, but the 14 karat acid is perfectly fine. Now, if you ask me, obviously, I've inspected it up close. This is for sure gold. However, I want to show you guys what to avoid when you're testing gold like this. A lot of places, and this is from personal experience because I do visit a lot of you know shops myself just to see how they do business. They'll go ahead and always test the clasp because it's the easiest part. However, when you test this, let's give it, that's one scratch and the third scratch as usual. And look closely, we're gonna do the, uh, we'll do the 14 karat acid and check it out. When you do this, you saw it come off. All this tells you is the clasp was repaired at one point. So this part here, the repair shop probably wanted a cut cost and they went ahead and replaced it with a plated clasp. So this here is not gold. However, the whole band on the watch is actually 14 karat gold. So you always want to be careful when you're testing. Stay away from the ends because when there's any repair done, usually they'll cut cost and they'll use the cheapest you know part in this case it's plated so it's no good so we were able to help the customer out we gave the loan and that's it so always remember don't cut corners when you're testing gold because if you do either you'll turn down business or you'll actually go ahead and give out the loan for an item that is not worth it hope this helps subscribe follow and drop a comment if you like this content and i'll see you in the next video